In today's video we will discuss the top 10 things you didn't know about Waffle House. Please make sure you subscribe to the Top 10 Jaw Dropping Facts channel. New videos release every Monday through Friday. Not only does Waffle House have great food and crime-fighting employees, they have a lot of interesting facts about their business as well. Number 10. It was named after their most expensive item. When Waffle House was founded, the most expensive item on its 16-item menu was the waffle. Founders Joe Rogers and Tom Forkner named the restaurant after their biggest moneymaker in the hopes of inspiring guests to order more waffles. And since waffles are not typical takeaway food, the partners hoped the name would encourage customers to dine in and stay a while. Pretty smart. Number 9. Waffle House has its own record label. Did you know Waffle House has been releasing music under its own record label, Waffle Records, since the 1980s? Waffle Records has put out dozens of songs in a broad range of styles, including bluegrass, gospel, and rock and roll. You can listen to Waffle House hits on the jukeboxes at many restaurant locations. Number 8. Waffle House used to sell Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Decades ago, Waffle House was licensed to sell Chick-fil-A sandwiches. The sandwiches became so popular, however, that Waffle House eventually terminated its contract with Chick-fil-A. You don't want to become a chicken house when the name is Waffle House. Number 7. FEMA uses Waffle House to measure disasters. Fully prepared to operate on no power and limited supplies, Waffle Houses are open 24-7, even during natural disasters. That's why FEMA uses the Waffle House Index to measure how hard a natural disaster has hit a town. According to the index, code green means Waffle House is open and serving a full menu, code yellow means Waffle House is serving a limited menu, supplies may be low, and power may be off, and code red means Waffle House is closed and the area needs immediate assistance. Number 6. There's really a Bert. Bert's Chile, a top-selling item on the menu, was in fact invented by former Waffle House president and CEO Bert Thornton in the 1980s in Dallas. Each pot of chili is still made to Bert's exacting specifications. Number 5. They hosted the World Waffle Eating Championship. Waffle House has hosted several World Waffle Eating Championships when competitors scarfed down waffles in the hopes of winning cash prizes and the coveted Waffle House belt. Joey Chestnut won two years in a row but was beaten by Pat Deep Dish Bertoletti when he ate 29 waffles in 10 minutes in 2007. Number 4. They have their own hash brown language. Over the years, Waffle House chefs developed different styles of hash browns with unique names for each. Next time you order hash browns at Waffle House, you can ask for Smothered, sautéed onions Covered, melted cheese Chunked, hickory smoked ham Diced, grilled tomatoes Peppered, jalapeno peppers Capped, grilled mushrooms Topped, Burt's chili country sausage gravy number three the original location was turned into a chinese restaurant by 2007 the first location which had been sold in the early 1970s was languishing as a chinese restaurant the company bought it back and remodeled it using the original blueprints and today it's a private company museum that's used for corporate events but is occasionally opened to the public Restored to look exactly as it did when the restaurant served its first side of hash browns in 1955. Waffle House memorabilia from the past six decades is also on display. Call ahead to book a tour, you get to make your own waffle at the end of the visit. Number 2. Waffle House was founded by neighbors. Joe Rogers was working for Toddle House, a national restaurant chain, and Tom Forkner was in real estate when the neighbors decided to start a business together. Rogers and Forkner opened up the first Waffle House on Labor Day, 1955. The first location was in Avondale Estates, Georgia, about 10 miles outside of Atlanta. Number 1. Waffle House founders died within one month of each other. Tom Forkner and Joe Rogers both passed away within one month of each other. Rogers died first in March 2017 at the age of 97. Forkner followed in April at the age of 98. I hope you enjoyed our top 10 things you didn't know about Waffle House. Please comment below for any Waffle House facts you think we missed. 
Do not forget to subscribe to the Top 10 Jaw-Dropping Facts channel. And new episodes release every Monday through Friday.